today I'm going to show you how to make fried chicken biryani. This is a very easy dish and it's flavorful as well. It's a must try for this year Ramazan. Come, I'll show you how to make this fried chicken biryani. So there's two steps to make this fried chicken biryani. First we marinate the chicken and then we need to fry the chicken. After that we make a small gravy with the fried chicken and then the second step is to cook the rice separately. After that you mix both together. So for the first step that is the chicken, I have about 500 grams of chicken here. I've cut it and I've washed it and I cleaned it. So that's 500 grams. We need to marinate this chicken. So to this 500 grams of chicken, add some salt, salt for tasting, then one tablespoon of red chili powder, a heaped tablespoon of red chili powder, then one teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons of black pepper powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of garam masala and two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Two tablespoons and then we mix everything well and let it marinate till we get on with step two so mix well so I've mixed it well now set this aside till we get on with step two that is making the rice so step two is we are going to make the rice so that is going to be in the rice cooker. So this is the rice cooker pan. Place that onto the stove. Switch on the stove. And add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Any oil is fine. Whatever oil that you prefer. About 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. So once the oil heats up. There is 200 grams of uh, onions that I have sliced. Add that in. Add few curry leaves. This is pandan leaves or rampe. This gives a good uh, flavor to the rice. You can't find this, that's fine. You can add it as well. Few rampe or pandan leaves. So now I'm going to add the whole spices. So I have a couple of cloves, a couple of cinnamon, um, green cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaves, maize, black cardamom and star anise. So add a couple of star anise, cinnamon, cloves, green cardamom, black cardamom, maize and baby. Mix well and let the onion fry. I have about three green chilies that I've slit in half. Add that in well. This is a chicken stock cube. One chicken stock cube. You need to add ginger garlic paste, about 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. So while the onions are frying, I have 500 grams of good quality basmati rice. So I have taken uh, two cups 
of this measure two cups of this measure that i have so there is about 500 grams so i'm going to wash this thoroughly so i washed the rice as i said there's 500 grams of rice add this washed rice to the rice cooker dish and mix well So mix well for about two to three minutes till this little bit of water that you can see here evaporates. As 500 grams of good quality basmati rice. So let the water evaporate. Now add salt to taste. And once the water is evaporated, now let's add water. So I'm adding four cups of rice, the double the amount of rice. Uh, rice. Switch off the stove. So I've added one cup. This is the second cup. Third and fourth. Mix well. Now place the rice cooker uh, lid and place this in the rice cooker and let the rice cook. So the rice is cooking in the rice cooker. Now step two is to uh, fry the chicken. So our chicken has been marinating and the rice is cooking in the rice cooker. So now we need to fry this chicken. So to a deep pot like this, we are going to add oil. And once the oil heats up, we can fry our chicken. So the oil is heated up. Add some curry leaves. Adding curry leaves to the oil gives the chicken and anything you fry a good flavor. Now let's add the chicken. So the chicken is fried. So I've taken that, set that aside. Now we may have to make a gravy for this fried chicken. So for that, place a large uh, pot like this because we are going to add the rice as well to the same dish and switch on the stove. So there's oil from here. This oil is this is the oil that I've used to fry the chicken so it has all the flavor so from that oil use about four tablespoons four tablespoons of oil the same oil that you use to fry the chicken would be good because that has all the flavor so once the oil heats up we need, we need to add all the whole spices cloves, green cardamom, black cardamom, star anise, maize, cinnamon and bay leaves. Add all of that in. Some curry leaves and 150 grams of onions have sliced at that also. Again, this is pandan leaves. Rampe. Add that to the chicken gravy. It will give it a good flavor. If you can't find it, it's okay, but it's optional. If you can find it, add as much as you like. And now, mix well. And let the onions fry till they become golden brown. This is one chicken stock cube. It's optional, but if you like, and add it, gives it a good flavor. Now I have about four 
green chili that I've sliced in half, add that in. And two large tomatoes that I've cut, add that also in. Mix well. Mix well till everything sort of gets cooked. After about 4 minutes, now let's add ginger garlic paste, about 4 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Mix well. Now, add about 1 teaspoon of garam masala, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons of black pepper powder, 1 tablespoon of red chili powder, and salt to taste. Some fresh mint leaves as well. Mix well. A teaspoon of sugar so that all the flavors are balanced. Now add the fried chicken. 1 cup of water as well and let this cook for about 15 minutes. Mix well and let everything come to a good boil and cook for about 10 minutes on a medium flame. So it's been a total of 15 minutes on a medium flame. Now it's time to switch off the stove and mix it gently. See the gravy has thickened, which is the correct consistency now. You can add the rice. So the chicken gravy is done and our rice is also done. Now it's time for the layering. The rice is perfectly cooked. Let's add the rice to the chicken. Some more fresh mint. 
So as you can see, I've added the fresh mint and also fried onions. If you have cashew nuts or raisins also, you can add that. Now, as just the last uh, flavorful thing to do, I have some coconut milk here and some uh, yellow food color. If you want, you can add saffron as well. I don't. So, I'm adding food color. Mix this and pour this over the biryani I have about half a cup of coconut milk just add that on top so it will sort of seep through and gives it a nice golden yellow color as well So our fried chicken biryani is done. This is very easy to make. Need a rice cooker. Yeah, make the rice in the rice cooker. Fry the chicken. Make the gravy. And put both together. This is a must try for any occasion. Especially for Ramadan this year. Try this out with your family. So now I'll show you how the chicken is. Come. So all the chicken is at the bottom. Can we can lift it turn it that and you can see the ch fried chicken and all the egg the flavor superb so a must try for this year ramazan so i hope you guys will try this recipe out for this year ramazan and also let me know how you liked it in the comment section so please like share and also please follow and subscribe to my channel so until i see you guys next time with yet another video this is your signing off